Okay, this is turn 85 of Hell and the Hedgerows. What we're really looking for this turn, uh, just like last turn and the turn before that, is uh, we're looking for a breakthrough over here around the crossing objective. We really want to get some of these troops up against this hedgerow where hopefully we're going to be able to dominate a bit of this area and start bringing people up without them going to pieces and taking heavy casualties like uh, wave number one. Uh, we're also looking for uh, this pack here, the AT gun, uh, has got eyes on this Sherman here. It managed to hit it in the last turn, but uh, the shot just ricocheted off and we didn't get any damage. So uh, we're really looking to see if we can't uh, nail that. In this turn, we're also getting a bit of fire uh, coming in here again. Jen's got a Sherman over here uh, and a six pounder, which is shooting up this corner. Uh, but we've managed pretty much to drive off Jen's uh, infantry section that was pushing up here to try and flank us. So it could be okay over here for a little while at least. Uh, in the village, uh, this is a new contact here, uh, this one here. So we're shuffling some troops around to try and get eyes on it properly. Uh, but apart from that, we're not really expecting very much. Uh, all eyes on the left as, uh, as usual, and we'll see... Uh, what Jen's got moving around back here as he tries to uh, get some firepower, get some combat power over this side into this kind of area here uh, to try and put a stop to what I'm up to here. So uh, we're going to press go and we're going to see what we get this time. And oh, we've got a penetration on the, uh, the Sherman back there, that's excellent. More casualties down in the field in a way that surprises absolutely nobody. So another hit on the uh, Cuba bargain in the middle of the field there. And yep, more casualties. It's uh, like we keep saying, this is a really tough position down here. It's uh, really difficult to get forward down there. So let's see. Uh, we'll check the right as usual first. It looks like. Uh, what happens is Jen moves up some uh, pixel shopping back here and they're putting some fire on the uh, MG team. Uh, these guys just got wounded by... Uh, uh, they got the tank and the six-pounder up there. Yeah. Or, t or two six-pounders. Could be that too. They're shooting up that hedgerow over there. Just missed, I think. The uh... yeah, the squad leader for the uh, the HMD team or the team leader got shot by a rifleman on that corner there. But, uh, apart from that, we're kind of okay. Um, let's see, what did we get in the village? Um, the big question is: Is there actually some Tommies there, or is that a kind of uh, random sound contact and get them every now and again. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. So, not a lot going on there. Let's uh, check over here. So, we definitely get a hit in on that Sherman. Yeah. Front turret penetration. Yeah, but where in the front turret is the uh, is the question. So if it's just up here, it might still be operational. Well, looks like the tank commander's had a bad day. The hatches are opening up. They're bailing out. Looked like it hit up here, maybe. You've got to assume that that uh, tank is uh, recruitable. Yeah. 
That's a fair shot. I'm gonna give the little guys that. See what we got. Uh, what we were getting down here. We got Tommy's moving up through the uh, the woods in the centre. That's a um, two-inch mortar. Yeah, two-inch mortar team. Got this tank moving up. Uh, you can see that those guys can. That's uh, way out of Panzer range. These guys moving up this way. Yeah, where is he going to put that Sherman? That is an interesting question. And over here in the field of death, we've got the usual... Uh, yeah, well, we're definitely getting the lead out. Some Tommies there. You can see them. Nobody can see them. Uh, it's probably uh, some of these. Yeah, this lone rifleman there has spotted them. Uh, these guys in this squad here, the uh, gigantic clump of people about to get shot, are. Uh, using the assault command to get forward, so we'll see how they do when they're doing their own little bit of fire and maneuver. Fire coming through the uh, hedge there. And, yeah, it was all going so well. Poor old uh, assistant team leader getting nobbled by some sten fire coming out of the hedgerows. And uh, these guys had their own little fight by the looks of things. Uh, shooting up the tummies over there. Kind of see Jens collapsing his forces in a little bit. We are definitely causing casualties. I think the problem is that we're not causing enough. Yeah, let's just. Uh whack it back on the wide angle and do a bit of fast forwarding just to see. These would be Jen's reserves coming up this way. How are these guys upset? But uh, they're not being suppressed which is uh, good. That means no one's pretty well shooting at them. Right, so what do we want to do here? Don't think that that panther's really doing much of anything. Might be able to see some bits and bobs down. That what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about bringing the panthers up forward, which is not the smartest thing I could be doing by a pretty long shot. I'll be the first to admit that. Um, but we mm, pretty much have to do something. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere at all. Um, as far as I'm concerned, 
getting a little toehold in the crossing objective here is pretty much the best possible outcome. Um, you know, we're contesting the rail bridge. Jen's got this one, I've got this one. Uh, we're not going to get into the North Ford by any means. So if we can uh, get in here, and oh, there's a tank contact there. That's uh, bad news for everybody. Uh, if we can sort of get in there, then we're going to deny Jen some more points. Um, and then we can hope that we've been inflicting enough casualties or that he's taken a lower percentage of casualties than we have because you know we have been putting the hurt out quite a bit but um, let's just send these guys through the gardens and see what happens to them he says after going on about how casualties are important for the uh, end game yeah. go hapless so I don't think that panther there is actually going to see anything. So, And it is basically blind. So it might be a relatively good idea to move it up here, where at least it can put a bit of fire down on Jen's positions in depth. And we might, because this panther is also not seeing anything, might also move this one up. Uh, if nothing else, it should draw Piat teams in like moths to a flame. And let's see, we're just about to run out of ammunition. Yeah. You guys are lost. Yeah, we'll we'll add the Panthers into the mix down here, and we'll see. Uh, you know, if that gets us a toehold in the objective, and if it doesn't, then well, either way, we'll just cease fire because uh, we're not going to get any better than that. So yeah, more mess incoming. Let's uh, press go and see what we get back. 